सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो हियर कैन सी वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट व्हिच इज वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ रिस्पोंसिव टाइमलाइन कंपोनेंट सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ कस्टम टाइमलाइन कंपोनेंट एंड यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव दिस डेटा स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच इज बेसिकली वी हैव दिस एरे ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट कंटेनिंग द आईडी इमेज टाइटल एंड डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस डेटा स्ट्रक्चर वी हैव टू इंप्लीमेंट द लॉजिक सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल मेक श्योर दैट यू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो दैट यू डोंट मिस द ऑसम वीडियोस so if you don't know about the timeline component uh, you can easily navigate to the chrome browser and you can just simply search for timeline component and uh, just click on the images part and you will see some of the reference so this is basically a uh, basic timeline component we have so for that uh, what we can do first of all we will import our react from react and then i will create react arrow function and component we will modify our jsx so first we will write the section and then we will create one div another div we will create one another div we will form the document we will give the class name is the timeline landing then second div we will give row and container as a class name in the third div we will give the class name to timeline and then in the fourth one we will give the class name to time line hyphen line it will basically a border i can see in this image uh, we have this vertical line which is going between these two uh, component so we will create this using this division which is a div tag timeline line and then after that what we will do Uh, we will basically map this data structure so we will write events data dot map and inside we will write event one is the index and after that we will create one another div we will pass a key which is basically a string attribute you can directly pass the index okay we should include when we are creating array of elements it is also a unique identity and uh, i will pass the class name to timeline event and after that i will create one image tag okay and inside the source i will pass this event dot image we have this data image event dot image and we will pass alt also we will write image we will pass the class name we will write timeline image and after that we will write div and inside div okay we will uh, first we will pass the class name so we will write class name event details form the document and after that we will pass this h3 and inside we will pass the event or title okay then we will write one paragraph and inside we will pass event dot description so we have this the timeline connector and i have created one check that if the index is less than events data dot length minus 1 then only we will show this timeline connector and we have the basic css for that uh, you can see if i scroll down in the app dot css file Uh, you will see we have this the timeline css we have this display track justify content center and some position property and the background color box shadow okay so that is something just a basic css we have so after saving this file you can see if i navigate to my server uh, then we have this the timeline component and you can also modify this part of code and you can also add some custom css try to make this attractive okay ui attractive basically so we have implemented our challenge we have a custom logic okay just a uh, basic css and basic javascript method we have so that is something if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section and till then thank you for watching